सो इन टूडेज क्लास ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ मैथ्स दिस इज फॉर गोवा बोर्ड ओके ट्रिग्नोमेट्री इंट्रोडक्शन ओके फर्स्ट आई विल गिव यू ऑल द इंट्रोडक्शन आफ्टर इंट्रोडक्शन आई विल बी सॉल्विंग एक्सरसाइज प्रॉब्लम्स ओके लेट मी स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रो पार्ट सो ट्रिग्नोमेट्री ओके सो टेक इट डाउन इन ट्राइंगल नाउ दिस इज अ गिवन ट्राइंगल ओके इन ट्राइंगल ए बी सी ओके योर दिस इज ए बी एंड सी ओके सो इन ट्राइंग ट्राइंगल ए बी सी एंगल बी इज अ राइट एंगल कैन यू सी दैट एंगल बी ओवर हियर नाउ दिस इज वॉट राइट एंगल ओके दिस एंगल बी इज अ राइट एंगल एंड साइड ए सी ऑपोजिट टू एंगल बी एंड ए सी साइड ए सी इज ऑपोजिट टू एंगल बी ओके इज हाईपोटेन्यूज This is a hypotenuse. AC is a hypotenuse over here. Okay, so side opposite to angle A. Now side opposite to angle A is BC, and side opposite to angle C is angle is AB. Okay. Now we are using a Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so AB this AB square. Okay, AB square plus BC square. Okay, B C square is equal to hypotenuse. That is A C square. Okay, I hope you all have understood this part. Okay, next let me uh, see the terms. Okay, terms related to right angle triangle. In right angle triangle A B C. Okay, can you all see a right triangle? This is A B C. Okay, so in right triangle A B C. Angle B is equal to ninety degree. Since here angle B is what right angle triangle, so angle B is what ninety degree. And angle A over here angle A and angle C are acute angle. Okay, angle A and angle C are acute angles. Okay. So this side is your hypotenuse. This is the opposite side of angle A, and this is the adjacent side of angle A. Okay here. Okay, just put that arrow over here. Okay. Next, okay. Have you all seen this part? Clear with it. So this will be the adjacent side of this angle A, and this is the opposite side. This or this is the opposite side of angle A. Okay. Now moving towards the next. Now let us see the. Now again, there is a one more triangle ABC. This is the adjacent side of angle C. This is the hypotenuse, and this is the opposite side of angle C. Next, moving. So let us see the exercise. In the figure, triangle PQR is a right angle triangle. Is a right angle. Triangle right, all this okay. So have you seen over here? There is a triangle PQR. It is a right angle triangle. Okay. So what I'll have to write is side opposite to angle P, side opposite to angle R. Okay. Side opposite to angle R, side adjacent to angle P and side adjacent to angle R. Okay. So side opposite to angle P. What I gave you all is. um here where is it side opposite to angle pp is over here right this way you all have to check the side that is hmm over here hmm okay so opposite to angle c is what ab so here it will be what qr right So you all can take down Q R. Okay. Next, uh, let us see uh, side opposite to angle R. Angle R is here. Okay. So you all have to see the downward. Uh, Okay. 
okay so you all can see over here a right so si opposite side of angle a is what b c this one so here it will be what it will be op uh, side opposite to r will be p q right it will be p q so you all can take down p q okay next you all can look out for side adjacent to angle p and angle p is over here okay side opposite of angle p so here uh, adjacent side of angle c was what b c so here it will be what so here it will be p q right again it will be p q so you all can write it down p q okay next uh, side adjacent to angle r Ag adjacent to angle r is what here side adjacent for angle a was what a b right so here it will be q r right so you can take down you can check this okay you can do it by yourself and check it if it is correct okay and thanks okay next moving further next let us see the trigonometric ratios okay now we are going to see the trigonometric ratios now this is what first trigonometric ratio now this is a hypotenuse opposite side of angle b this is opposite side of angle b which all have over here next will be your um, adjacent now this is your adjacent side of angle b okay so sin ratio of an acute angle will be what here everything is given this is hypotenuse this is opposite side this is adjacent side right now sin ratio of an acute angle in triangle pqb will be what so pq upon pq upon pb pq upon pb so it will be opposite side of angle b upon hypotenuse okay you all can take down opposite side of angle b upon hypotenuse okay the this ratio is called has the sin ratio of angle b and is written in brief as sin b okay so you all can take down I hope you all have understood this part. Okay, next moving towards the now we are moving towards the cosine uh, ratio. Okay, now this is the cosine ratio of an acute angle. So this is a cosine ratio of an ang acute angle in triangle PQB. Can you all see the triangle PQB over here? This is a P. Q, P, Q, B. Okay, this is P. Okay, so P, uh, B, Q upon P, B, B, Q, B, Q upon P, B. So it will be what adjacent side of angle B upon hypotenuse, right? So adjacent side of angle B upon hypotenuse it will be okay for cosine ratio of an acute angle. So next now you can write down this ratio is called has the cosine ratio of angle B and written in brief has cos B okay. Next let us see tangent ratio of an acute angle in triangle PQB. So this is a triangle. P, Q and B. Okay, in triangle P, Q, B. What is given over here? For tangent it is, for this tangent it is, what is given? P, Q upon B, Q. P, Q upon B, Q. So, opposite side of angle b upon adjacent side of angle b so basically it is opposite upon adjacent right so 
adjacent opposite side of angle b upon adjacent side of angle b over here it is given okay this upon this right i can take down also next i can write it down this ratio is called has the tangent ratio of angle b and written in brief as 10p okay next moving further towards exercise okay so you all can take down also you all can see this triangle a b c right so mostly we write now uh, this is a theta okay theta it is so mostly we write measures of acute angle of a right angle triangle by using greek letters like theta now this is a theta now alpha or beta okay etc okay so next continuation only this is okay i'll can take down the continuation part of it okay so in the adjacent figure of triangle abc measure of acute angle c is denoted by the letter theta so we can write the ratios sin c cos c tan c has in place of c i will be replacing it by theta so it will be sin theta cos theta tan theta respectively okay next sin c i am writing in terms of sin theta which is equal to ab upon ac cos c is equal to cos theta which is equal to bc upon ac okay next it will be tan c tan theta is equal to ab upon bc now what i have done it over here for sin theta what i uh, told you all about is for sin theta what was given so here uh, for sin it was opposite upon hypotenuse right so here it is opposite upon hypotenuse so ab upon ac right so that's why i wrote ab upon ac over here right for cos i gave you all what for cos i gave you all to be uh adjacent upon hypotenuse right so here it is adjacent side is what bc upon ac right so that's why i wrote bc upon ac for tan it was opposite upon adjacent so basically for tan c is equal to tan theta right so here what was given tan c is equal to tan theta for tan theta what i said opposite upon adjacent now here opposite is what ab and adjacent is bc so it will be ab upon ac so you all got it right ab upon ac okay next moving further now these are the very important formulas which you all have to know to study okay the given exercises will be based on this you all have to know the formula very well okay now sin ratios are like what opposite side upon hypotenuse cos ratio is what adjacent upon hypotenuse tan ratio is nothing but opposite side upon adjacent side okay and sin theta will be opposite side of angle theta upon hypotenuse cos theta will be adjacent side of angle theta upon hypotenuse and tan theta will be is equal to opposite side of angle theta upon opposite side of angle theta okay so you all have to know this very well this concept is very important okay you all can take down also okay all this in the next class i will be solving uh, exercise 1 point uh, exercise 1 okay on trigonometry class 9 okay goa board okay and i hope you all have understood and thanks for watching